Hi there, you have joined my family and myself as we traveled up north to our camper to Newport, Pennsylvania. I'd never been to this Goodwill before and I was pleasantly surprised. It's a smaller Goodwill, but it was packed with treasures. This is an Eldrith Pottery piece. This is uh, stamped second, so there was something about it that they didn't think was up to perfection. And here were hobbyist pieces. These are some cute little anthropomorphic bunny rabbits. I thought they were adorable. They're from 1979. She has a little bit of paint loss on her dress from the price tag, but that could easily be touched up by the new owners. This Goodwill also divided their hard goods by colors, and I found this paperweight. I thought it was neat how the American flag was inside it. It was simple, not overly red, white, and blue, and there were no chips or cracks. And while I was at the end cap here in the clear glass section, this vase grabbed my attention because the sticker has Russian or Ukrainian on it. I haven't translated it entirely. My guess is that it is Russian. I thought that would be a cute little vase. They had it on its side, so you could actually use it on the side with a little succulent in there, or you can stand it on the base and use it as a vase. This little shelf sitter is not the same as the ones that I've picked up before. They usually have dangly feet, so I did put that back. And then the sloth in the yoga pose. <laughs> I just sold a cat in the same yoga pose. I thought that was funny. It might be from Target or Walmart. I don't know. It's obviously contemporary. I thought it was super cute. This salt shaker had it stamped on there, China. And they had this little votive holder with pressed flowers. I thought that was very pretty. And I thought this was funny. This cup says, huzzah! It's kind of how I felt being in this store. Huzzah, look at that. There's so much to see. This weighed maybe 90 pounds. It was so heavy. It was originally from TJ Maxx and it was made in Italy. You hung it on the wall. It was ginormous and so heavy. And I do like to pick up heavy things and big things just to learn what they are and to keep my eye out for them in the future. Here is a studio pottery piece. I like the color of it and I like the little handles on the side. I thought it was nicely done. It's glazed on the inside of the lid and the inside of the jar. And it's heavy, but I don't think it's too heavy. These were, I was seeing what, who the name of these were. And the rest of the blue, it's kind of a blue green section here. There are a whole bunch of those in a bag. I wasn't quite sure what those were. And then I think this face is to when you start a bulb, like a hyacinth bulb, because of the shape of it. That's what I, I immediately thought was this was to start bulbs. And I thought this box was pretty. The little folk art flower painted on the lid. And then these, I was like, look, you have your lids and your spoons. And you are not chipped or cracked. Some of you might recognize who makes this right away. I had to unload the tray here. <laughs> so finding a place for all the lids and all the spoons. It's very exciting when you find something with spoons that aren't broken. I still don't see a name. I see that it's called Botanic Garden. And then when I flip this over, I see, look, it's Port Marion. So I decided to grab that. I thought that'd be perfect for someone for spring. And this canister set was obviously a hobbyist piece and I love hobbyist pieces. I thought it was very nicely done. I was seeing if there was a year just to know, like, how old are you? And I didn't see a year. I wasn't going to pick up the canisters. I have some canisters for sale right now um, and I decided to leave that for somebody else. I really like yellow and blue together. I think they make a nice color combination. Here was another heavy piece, but I wanted to know who made it. I saw that it was made in China. It looked like it was more of a contemporary piece. Uh, oh, and then I saw that one of, the, I think this one had a chip on it and I didn't, there we go, Fontana. One of them had, a, I think the middle one had a chip on it, and I didn't want to split up the set because somebody who likes roosters will come in there and swoop that up. I thought this was a nice little creamer and sugar set. Here we are in the pink 
and red section with a little bit of yellow thrown in there. Cute little piggy, piggy bank or coin bank. And then this is a very light pink glass little vase and it still had the pontal mark on the bottom. And I thought it would be very sweet for Valentine's or, or spring. Put a little bouquet of flowers in there. And this little bag had some elephant napkin rings and some white elephant figurines. One of the elephant figurines does have a chip to its foot, but they are pretty cute. I thought the colors of this dish, they reminded me of Poland. When I was in Poland, they had those colors on wooden dolls, kind of like the Matryoshka dolls or nesting dolls. And then I thought, this looks like it's from the Game of Thrones. And then I turned it around and it's from the Game of Thrones. I really like this section because it had a lot of little things in it little figurines. Someone's elephant collection, it seemed like, was here. This is probably more of a contemporary piece as well. I thought it was really neat. It has a really neat color to it. Kind of has, has a faceted look to it with the shape and the angles of it. I thought this bear was cute. He was a piggy bank, a hobbyist piece. I did not pick him up. I should have picked him up, but I was a little bit overwhelmed with how great this store was. And then I saw this piece, and I believe this is from Mexico, and it had a name Emma on it, and I thought, I bet I can get that name off. And you'll have to see at the end of the video if I was able to get Emma's name off of this really cool elephant. And then I thought this was really neat. Uh, this was definitely vintage. And it has Aloha Hawaii on the ends of each of those leaves. It probably is part of another piece, but you could still use that alone. And then here I'm looking at these crosses to see if that one right there on the right opens up. Because sometimes crosses open up and they have the last rites or candles inside. But that did not. And then this, I think, is supposed to look like the metal teapots, but it was ceramic. And then there was another cross, so I was seeing if... That cross opened up and it did not. And it had like a boat in it and a saint figurine. So you got three, four, three things in that bag. And then right above it, how appropriate was this blessed sign. And then I filmed this to show my friend Andrea. <laughs> don't worry, Andrea, there were only these four pieces. You don't need to travel all the way <laughs> to add to your nativity collection. But I thought she would like to see that. And then on the end cap was this really cool vintage planter. I like the style of it, but I am have been really too successful selling planters. So I decided to hold off on getting that, try and sell through the planters I have before adding to that part of my store. Here was a Christmas section. I thought this was very nicely done. I couldn't tell if this was mass produced or someone made that. I would guess that someone made that. I thought that was pretty. And we are almost at the end of our visit here to the Newport Goodwill. This was very pretty. I like the simplicity of it. Just had a little bit of color on her face. I like these little geese or ducks. Let's call them ducks or geese. <laughs> I liked how the one was kind of peeking over your shelf. And then I found this, this little toothpick holder, and it didn't have a price. And I thought, oh gosh, I hope they price things and don't deny me letting me have this. And they said, no, of course, we'll go get a price tag. So she went and got a price for me, which was very nice. And then I thought this was cute. And this basket was nice, but it also had um, some chipping on the flower. I liked how the handle turned into the two flowers. I thought that was very pretty. There was a chip right there. And then I thought this was different because usually these are yellow. This is a travel mug. But it was a, you know, completely white face. And I'd never seen a completely white face travel, well, not travel mug, a completely white face happy face. I thought that was a cute mug. Also, I'm overusing the word cute. <laughs> I need to <laughs> look up something else. I really like the the image on this cup, but there was only one, and that was very 80s. The design on it with the rainbow colors. And then these look like, at first I thought they were 
vintage leaves, but I think they were more contemporary. And on here, what do we, oh, this. Someone had peeled back the sticker looking for a name, and then I noticed it had a lot of damage right there. But I like the look of it. I thought it was pretty cool. And in the clear glass section, they had 25th anniversary glasses. They were in very good shape. I'm, it looks like they were hardly used. And then this is a, a Disney glass. And I believe these don't, these aren't like huge sellers or I just left a huge amount of money on the shelf right there. <laughs> and then here are bride and groom champagne glasses. And then right below them, more contemporary bride and mister. So here is everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. We are going to travel further up north and visit some more Goodwills on our way up to the camper. I hope you enjoyed this video and you saw some things that you would like. I hope that you leave a comment telling me what you liked about the video and give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate your support of my channel. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.